Okay, so I have printed off a picture of an ice cream cone. So you'll get one of these, and then with this uh, Prismacolor ebony pencil, which is like really shiny and it has, it's, it says jet black extra smooth. So it's like real creamy and really dark pigment. So you don't have to press super hard, but um, you color in here really well. You really don't need to waste your time and do the entire like back of the paper. You can even hold the paper up kind of to the, to the light in the ceiling and you can kind of see the outline and then you, you could even like draw a little line and then just color that in just to save some time. But you do want to get this nice and dark without actually breaking your pencil lead. And so we get this really nice and dark and gray. And what we're doing is called a transfer. And so we do have light boxes, but with it being COVID 2020, we don't really want to have a line or a cluster of people over there. So this is a quick, easy alternative, and you can do this anytime for like any picture. Like if you printed something at the computer, you can always do a transfer of it, and it's super easy. So here's the trick. So you put this side that we've colored down onto your paper. So pretend that this is blank paper and that you didn't see the, there's already an ice cream cone outline. Okay. And what I did was I taped it, which gives me a little bit of a hinge. And then that way I can kind of fold this back and go, okay, I can see what I've already gotten done. So then what I would do, you don't have to use a pen, but I'm going to use a pen because then if my pen is working, oh good, the ink is coming out. And you can see, really, I don't need to go back over this. I'm just doing this to show you because I like to start on the outline. And then with the pen, I can see where I've been. So do the outline first. Okay, so pretend that I did the outline. And then I like to just maybe start at the bottom and get all the details. So you have this texture of the cone in these little diamonds. And there's even some little highlight things here. <clears throat> so this is really where you're going to get like all of your information. The more detail and the more little lines that you can pick out, the better. Maybe there's kind of a line there. And I am trying to hurry because I don't want to put you to sleep. But see, even look, there's like a little shadow right here. I always try to kind of get that where there's a little bit of a transition, another little bit of a shadow. And there might be some text in there where there's like a logo of the cone, but it's too hard to see. So you draw right on your picture. And then let's see if it's working. Okay, let's see how we're doing. Look, it's like magic. So all the little marks. But see, even now, look, you can see, like, do we have enough marks in the top of the ice cream cone? No, we don't. So keep going. So really, there's like, there's like these two lines. And then there's like a line in the middle there. And like, even you can kind of see it here. See, this line kind of swoops in. And that swoops in. But then there's like a... A section coming up the middle and see look this part's darker so what you could do if you wanted to you could do maybe some little lines here just to kind of remind yourself like okay this is the side that will be shaded because first we're gonna do this in regular pencil and then we're gonna do something else Okay, so I'm going to let you work on that, and then next I'll show you how we're going to shade it with pencil.